Switching tracks in Minecraft has never been easy. The conventional way to do it is to hook up a fence gate to a butt switch. However, this design is very limited because you can't control for how long the track stays switched for. Sometimes it's hard to get the timing right, and it's not always easy to hit the fence gate while you're riding along in a minecart. Also, in the new snapshots, fence gates no longer activate butt switches. Meaning this design will no longer work once 1.5 comes out. So I personally recommend that you torpedo it. Boom. So I've come up with a solution that solves all of those problems. It uses fishing rods and trip wires, the very same property that I used in my last video. So when your junction is coming up, you just aim diagonally, and the track switches for however long you want it to switch for. You can turn it off whenever, and sometimes you get lucky and catch a fish. Now not only is this design very cheap to make, it's simply a trip wire laying on top of a water laying on top of a layer of signs, but it solves most of the problems that occurred with the last design. You can choose when you want the track to switch and when you want to turn it off. You have a long window for you to make your decision. And this design works on the newest snapshot, so you don't have to change it when 1.5 comes up. Unfortunately, since this design uses water, it will not work on the nether, where most people have their tracks outlined. So I have come up with a design that works on the new snapshots. It actually relies on the new snapshots. And it is usable in the nether, so I will be right back in the new snapshot and show you guys how that one works. This is my solution for the 1.5 update that works inside of the nether. Now, the new snapshots add a new feature called trap chests, and when you open these chests, it emits a redstone pulse that is one long. So you need these repeaters, and I find setting them to two ticks of delay works the best because it'll work every time. So how it works is you jump in your minecart, and if you want to switch tracks, you simply open up the chest and keep it open until you move out of range. There we go. So this works with just one, but I personally like to put a whole line of them in. Because to me it makes it a little bit easier in case you miss the first one and you still want to switch your track. Which was one of the flaws in the original design using the fence gate. So we can try a different chest in the line. Let's say we forgot that one. We're like, oh no, let's open up this one. There we go. So, it'll work every time with every one of these chests if you set the repeaters to two ticks of delay. So, if you have just one chest way back here, just put two ticks, then the space, two ticks, then the space. And you could just put blocks here. The redstone dust is not necessary unless you have a whole line of chests like I recommend. So, as always, the world download link for both of these worlds will be in the description, so you can check them both out. And I definitely recommend that you download the worlds before you ask questions. I know a lot of people were confused with my last video, and some people got a little mean to each other, so play nice, or I will bust some legs. Not sure what that means, but I assume I'm going to be breaking your legs if you are not nice in the comments. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you guys later.